Hey guys, and welcome to episode 2 of my Planet Scythe Basics video series, where I try and give as much information as I can to help out new players who may be picking up this new game uh, when it releases very shortly, or maybe you've got into the beta and you're not that familiar with what's going on. I'm trying to break things down um, and explain explain them all. Uh, there is gameplay footage, but it is uh, few and far between right now. I'm trying to go over all the details first, get all the boring stuff out of the way, and then we're gonna have some, we're gonna have some fun. So let's get straight back into it with this episode. Uh, and in this episode, we're covering uh, weapons and classes. Okay, so Planet Side Two has six uh, classes that you can choose from. You have Infiltrator, Light Assault, Combat Medic, Engineer, Heavy Assault, and the Max class, or the Mechanized Assault Exoskeleton. This huge behemoth of a character, you, you're certainly not going to miss them on the battlefield. Now let's start with the first one, the Infiltrator. This is the only class in Planetside to be able to use a sniper rifle, um, and it also has cloaking technology as its ability. Uh, they're vulnerable on the battlefield uh, because they don't have much armor, um, but they have the element of surprise on their side uh, because of their cloaking ability. So it's a bit of a trade-off with these guys. Uh, this is this is the ninja class, as I would like to call it, ninja up behind people, uh, that sort of thing. So if you if you're a ninja, like me, then you'll you'll enjoy playing this class. Moving on to the light assault. Now this is probably the most mobile of all the classes in the game. Uh, they have access to jump jet technology to basically help them move really fast around the battlefield. They've got an array of weapons, uh, probably more than most uh, of the other classes, uh, and they can access explosives as well. And if I turn this guy around here, you can see this jump pack here uh, on his back that uh, he can use to get around the battlefield a little bit faster. Next is the combat medic. Here he is with his med pack on his back. Um, this is probably one of the classes that I think could be the most important. Uh, it's very similar to Battlefield. Now, I don't really want to compare this to Battlefield all the time, um, but for those of you who are looking to get a grasp of Planet Side, Battlefield is the closest um, example I can use to basically uh, best explain uh, the, the class system. So obviously this is a medic class. In Planet Side, they have access to what is called Rebirth Technology, um, and they also have healing grenades as well. Um, but what this class does is it can revive and heal teammates around the battlefield. Uh, they've got a wide array of weaponry as well, um, uh, so they function quite well as an, as an all-round soldier in general, with the added uh, ability of being able to revive teammates. Then let's move on to the engineer class. Uh, engineers are just uh, as useful as the medics, if not if not more in certain circumstances. Uh, you could again use comparisons to Battlefield uh, for understanding uh, engineers, but essentially they they do do the same role. Engineers can repair uh, friendly units by using their advanced construction engine, as it's called in Planet Side. Uh, but not only that, they can also deploy anti-infantry or anti-vehicle turrets to strengthen certain positions uh, and of course they can drop ammo for teammates as well so this is quite a quite an important class really because not only can they repair vehicles they can drop ammo as well not only that they can put turrets up as well so these guys here you'll see a lot of people playing as an engineer because it is very very useful for stopping uh, onslaughts into bases with vehicle vehicle uh, heavy foes Moving on now to the Heavy Assault class. Uh, it's the only class in the game in which you can use light machine guns. Um, so each Empire's Heavy Assault arsenal belongs to this class. Uh, the vast majority of players, I would say, maybe lean towards Heavy Assault. Um, they have a reinforced exosuit armor uh, and a personal shield system they can deploy when they're in trouble to help prevent taking damage. Now, I don't think it... it, it it doesn't prevent taking damage as such, it just basically means you take less damage. You will still get hit. Uh, if you deploy this shield and somebody's shooting at you, it doesn't stop bullets, it just reduces the damage that you're actually going to take. Now, as standard, this class has a really high damage tolerance uh, anyway, so they're mainly used on the, on the front line. 
And then lastly, you have the Max class, the uh, mechanized assault exoskeleton. This this beast here, this behemoth uh, of a monster, is whatever you want to call it. Um, now you can't miss these guys, even if you tried. They're huge mechanized units, capable of equipping one modular weapon on each arm. So as you can see here, he's got a he's got a you know a, like a rifle on his uh, on his uh, his right arm. He's got a mini gun on his left arm. He is living the dream, and he's got some sort of weird messed up face, but we we won't go into that. They bring more firepower than you can shake a stick at, uh, but obviously the ex at the expense of versatility and mobility. Uh, these downsides, though, are probably outweighed just by the sheer damage they can cause and stopping power that they have. Um, I was trying to take one of these out with a tank the other day, and I don't know whether it was bugged or whatever, but I fired five shells at it, and this one of these beasts took out my tank. I could not kill it. It took out my tank. So, yeah, watch out, watch out for these guys. Now, obviously... Uh, those are the six classes you have to choose from. Play in, play in each one of them. Um, each one of them has a role. And if you're getting a big, big squad of people together to play the game, ideally, I think you, you're going to need a medic. I think you're going to need a medic and engineer. Uh, the other ones, n necessarily, you can, you can flick between them. I think it's mainly going to consist of medics, engineers, and heavy assault. Possibly with the odd infiltrator and max. You don't want too many uh, maxes, and you don't want too many infiltrators. But I think... Uh, medics, engineers, and heavy assault is, is, is primarily where you want to be. So now we've got a pretty good understanding of what each class is for, we can start to delve a little bit deeper into how these classes can be developed. Now, what you need to do to develop these classes is look at certifications. Now, down here at the bottom is a little button called certifications. And if you click on this, you can look at your certifications for your classes, vehicles, and also leadership qualities as well. Now, certifications can get a little bit complicated. Not so much complicated, but there's a lot of them. Um, so there's a lot to, to sort of uh, choose from. So you have to pick which ones really suit your, your play style um, you know, as, as best as you can. Essentially, I'll try and simplify the system and explain it as easy as I can. Every time you get a kill in planet side, uh, capture a base, and generally do things that you should be doing anyway, you build up points that can be used to unlo unlock items for your chosen class. So if I jump to here now, and if I go into combat medic, so if I go here, I will have a list now of certifications that I can see for that medic class. Now, these can range for any stuff really. I could have uh, an an enhanced medical kit so I can heal people faster. I can go down to my actual assault rifle and maybe I can uh, uh, have more damage on my assault rifle. I can have better medical tools um, to improve uh, my healing. I can go into my suit modifications, I can get better armor. So all these things I can do using certifications. Now down here at the right hand uh, corner, I can see exactly how many certification points I have. So I currently have 156. So if I went on to my universal for my medic, and I want to certify this for 50, I'd click it. There we go. And that, it's as simple as that. But obviously there's a lot to pick from, so you need to pick carefully. Um, and you can build up these certification points literally just by playing the game. Now these trees are here for every class. So if you look here, I can go into my Light Assault, and I can see what I've unlocked uh, for that. I can go into my Engineer, uh, I can see what I've unlocked for that. These, This top one obviously is universal, the rest are individual to each class, so depending on the weapons that I have for that class, or the, the armor that I have for that class, I can pick different, different certifications. You can even pick different scopes for your weapons. Uh, if I go into my Heavy Assault, for instance, and, and pick guns, I can certify certain uh, parts of the, the gun so I can add a suppressor on, etc, etc. So it, it's quite in-depth, but of course, with it being an MMO, you, you, kind of, you kind of expect that. Now then, what we are clearly all most interested in, weapons. Now the first thing I want to cover is how you go about getting weapons in Planetside 2. 
Now if you're back on this control panel, in the bottom right hand corner, you can see the store button. Now when you enter this store, you can buy weapons using uh, Araxium. Now Araxium is a resource that I covered in the first episode, so if you haven't seen that and aren't really familiar with what that is, go check it out. The link will be in the description or check in the top left hand corner as well and click there and check out the first episode so you've got an understanding of that. Now not only can you use Araxium to buy weapons, you can also use real world cash should you want to, or station cash which, is, which, it, which it is converted to. Uh, it's essentially real money that you put into the game and this is where the free to play model re rears its head really uh, in Planetside. Now it's simply an alternative that has been put into the game. Um, you do not have to spend money to enjoy the game nor do the devs want to give you any advantage uh, to using real world money. They don't want to they don't want it to be a uh, like a people being able to buy their way through the game to be, to be better at the game. It's just an option that is there for you to get this gun without having to use your, your Araxium. Now, if you look here on the left-hand side of the weapon screen, I can pick which class I want to see weapons for. So, for instance, if I want to see weapons just for my combat medic, here it will list all the weapons that I can currently purchase for my combat medic. Now, Looking here, there isn't an awful lot I can buy, so I'm, I'm a little bit, a little bit out of luck. But if I go to my, uh, let's say, heavy assault class, it'll show me exactly here what weapons I can get, and I could get this uh, launcher if I wanted to, um, or I could get the uh, the grounder, and I could pick one of those two. I could either unlock with my Araxium, which clearly I don't have enough. I've got 942, but I need 12,500, so I'm nowhere near. Or I could buy, uh, if the option was available, I could buy with uh, my station cash, which is my real world money that I've put into the game. Now, if I go onto the weapon, uh, it'll show me all the stats down here on the right hand side. It'll show me the damage, the rate of fire, uh, reload speed accuracy, magazine and fire modes. I can also click on preview and it'll give me a nice 3D preview. Just in case I don't like the look of a gun, maybe, maybe this gun isn't pretty and I don't want it. Not gonna buy you grounder. Gonna gonna buy this one instead that looks exactly the same. Yeah. Um, so anyway, what you can also do as well is uh, I can look down here and I can pick a certain type of gun. Maybe I only want an assault rifle. I know I'm looking for a new assault rifle. I don't want to see any other guns. I can do that. So these are the options that you have with the weapons now there's so many weapons in the game and obviously I haven't unlocked them all yet so it would be difficult for me to show you all these guns in game but there will be footage of me showing these uh, in the coming uh, sort of weeks and whatnot but just have a look at the weapons that are available and this gives you an idea of how you buy them uh, how you work this in with the class system as well now one last note is when you're on the classes screen which is back here in the bottom left you, you might notice that you've got custom loadouts here for each of the classes. So uh, Light Assault, Combat Medic, you've got custom loadouts here. Now, when you're further into the game and you've unlocked them, you can unlock different custom loadouts that you might want to choose for different, uh, different times. You might be maybe rushing a certain area and you know that a loadout uh, works for that particular rush. Or you might be defending an area so you want to change something around and use a different weapon. You'll be able to do that, you just need to unlock it further into the game. So you can go onto your custom loadout. Um, I can select potentially what, what ability I want. Uh, I can select my weapon, uh, obviously if I'd purchased any more weapons. Um, and you can you can basically... Uh, I, see, I can equip now my medical kit that you may have saw me buy earlier in the video. So I can equip that and add that on now to my uh, uh, to my medic class, um, and you will be able to change your appearance uh, as well when you unlock those sort of items. So those are the sort of things that are available uh, to the different classes and the weapons that you can buy for the different classes as well. So that's pretty much it for this episode. Um, I know there's no real gameplay going on, but I'm just trying to give you you guys a little bit of information because there's so much information about Planetside 2, and knowing these little ins and outs will make the game easier for you when you when you're playing it. You know, being able to know exactly what these resources are, where you can buy guns, makes it a little bit less of an overwhelming experience. 
Um, coming up though, there's going to be some more on uh, implants, uh, which uh, are, are big in the game, um, which I'm not going to go into now, but on the next video I'm going to show implants, and then we're going to get into some vehicles as well. So the exciting stuff is coming up, so stay tuned. If you like this sort of thing, then please do like it on here, subscribe, um, and stay tuned for the next episode. Cheers.